This is how you crochet the mystery stitch. I'm calling it the mystery stitch because I couldn't figure out what the name was, and so now I'm just making it a mystery. For the beginning chain, you need multiples of 6 plus 6, and in this case I'm starting with 29 chains, and then I'm going to add a double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook, and I'll continue adding a double crochet into every single chain until the end of this row. That is it for the verbal instructions. If you want to crochet along with me, I have the rest of the row at normal speed for you to watch. If you would like to skip ahead to part two, you can do that as well. But just in case you're wondering why I don't know what the stitch is called or what else to call it, I have a lot of books. I have um, a lot of crochet patterns that go all the way back to the 1940s, and I have looked through every single one of them, and I found this stitch in multiple books. However, I cannot, they, they don't have a name, they just assign it a number for whatever pattern book it is, so I'm gonna call it a mystery, because obviously no one else could figure out what to name it. The only thing I could think of, because you will have to use the puff stitch, and to me it kind of looks like a window, or like a fence, like a puff stitch window, or puff window stitch or something, I don't know, but those are the characteristics of it, it's essentially double crochet, puff stitches, and single crochet. But that's enough rambling for me, I will see you in part two. For row two, we are going to chain three and then add a puff stitch into the first stitch. But the first stitch is not going to be at the base of the turning chain, it'll be this one right here. So we're going to yarn over, insert the hook into the stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. We're going to pull that loop up and then we're going to yarn over again. This time I'm using my index finger to hold the loops back. Insert the hook back into the same stitch, yarn over and pull up another loop, and then we're going to do it one more time. Yarn over, insert the hook into the stitch, pull up a loop, pull it up, and then here I'm going to use my middle finger and thumb to pinch the bottom so that I can yarn over and pull through all the loops on my hook. From there we are going to chain one to finish the puff stitch, and then we are going to chain three as part of our stitch pattern. Then we will skip two chain, two stitches, one, two, add a single crochet into the third, and then we are going to chain three again. So one, two, three, and then skip two stitches, one, two, and then add a puff stitch into the third one. So yarn over, hold the loop back either with your index finger or your thumb, it's up to you. Insert the hook into the stitch, pull up a loop, pull it up, yarn over, 
pull the loop back, insert the hook into the stitch, yarn over and pull up another loop, hold it back with your thumb again, yarn over, insert the hook into the stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, and then pitch, yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook. And then chain one to finish it off. That'll be our repeat for the rest of the row. And I decided to try something a little different. I'll talk you through all of it. So we're going to chain three and then we're going to skip two stitches. One, two, add a single crochet into the third. Then chain three again. One, two, three. Yarn over, skip two stitches. One, two, insert the hook into the stitch, pull up a loop. Yarn over again, insert the hook into the stitch, pull up a loop. Yarn over again, insert the hook into the stitch, and pull up another loop. Pinch the bottom, yarn over, and pull through all the loops on the hook. Then chain one, chain three, one, two, three, then skip two, one, two, add a single crochet into the third, then chain three, one, two, three, yarn over, skip two, insert the stitch, hook into the stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over, insert the hook into the stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over, insert the hook into the stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, pinch, yarn over and pull through all the loops, then chain one to finish it off, then chain three, two, three, then skip two, one, two, add a single crochet into the third, then chain three again, one, two, three, then yarn over, skip two, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over again, insert the hook into the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over again, insert the hook into the stitch, pull up a loop, and then pinch, yarn over and pull through all the loops, and then to finish it off, we are going to put a double crochet, oh, chain one, then we're going to put a double crochet into the very last stitch right here. This is the turning chain, and I'm going to struggle with it for a little bit because I made my chain too tight. But that's it for row two, and I will see you in row three. If you didn't like me talking through the whole thing, please let me know and I won't do it in the next one. And if you did like it, let me know and I'll do it for the other ones. For row three, we are going to chain one and then we're going to turn and add a single crochet into that very first stitch at the base of the chain and then add another single crochet into the middle of the puff stitch and then we're going to add a single crochet into that chain space right here. Then we are going to chain three and then we will start our repeats for the row. So next we will single crochet into the next chain space and then single crochet into the center of the puff stitch and then single crochet into the next chain space and then we are going to chain three and that's going to be the repeat for the rest of the row. It's super simple but I'll keep talking you through it because I started that in the last video. So, single crochet into the chain space, single crochet into the center of the puff stitch, single crochet into the next chain space, and then chain three, one, two, three, single crochet into the next chain space, single crochet into the puff stitch, single crochet into the next chain space. And then chain three. One, two, three. Single crochet into the next chain space. Single crochet into the next puff stitch. And then single crochet into the turning chain or, yes, single crochet into the turning chain. But if you want to do it super simple, you can just treat it like a chain space. But uh, technically, you're supposed to work into the turning chain. And that's it. I will see you in part four. For row four, we are going to chain three for the turning chain. So one, two, and three. 
then turn, and then we're going to add our first double crochet into the first stitch, which is not at the base of the turning chain because the turning chain counts as a stitch. Then we'll add a double crochet into the next single crochet, and then we will add three double crochet into the chain space. So this is one, then two, then three. Then we're going to add a double crochet into each of the next three single crochet, and that's going to be our repeat for the rest of the row. So it's three double crochet into the chain spaces, and one double crochet into each single crochet all the way across. I don't know if you want me to talk you through the rest of this too. I will, just because. So here we're putting three double crochet into this chain space. So that's one, two, and three. And then one double crochet into the next stitch. Another double crochet into the next stitch. And another double crochet into the next stitch. And then three double crochet into the chain space. So this is one, two, oh wait, two, and three. And then one double crochet into the next stitch. One double crochet into the second single crochet. And then one double crochet into the third single crochet. Then three double crochet into the chain space. One, two, and three. And then one double crochet into the first stitch, one double, double crochet into the second stitch, and then one double crochet into the last stitch. That is it for row four, and I will see you in row five. Oh, and be sure to like and follow if you enjoyed these kind of close-up stitch tutorials. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments of any of my videos. Row five is super simple. We are going to chain three and then we are going to turn and then we're going to add a double crochet into the first stitch, which again is not at the base of the turning chain. It is technic or not technically the second stitch, but you know what I mean. And we're going to continue double crocheting across the entire row into every single stitch. I know that I've been talking through all the stitches for this tutorial, but I'm not going to do it for this one. The only, th uh, I'll consider it for the next tutorial based on the feedback I get on this. Um, the only reason I could think to do this is if you're somebody who doesn't crochet and is just trying to go to sleep because I'm, I feel like that would put me to sleep pretty good. Um, if you, so for the rest of the stitch, you're just going to repeat parts two, three, four, and five three times and then you are going to finish at the very end you're not going to go all the way to row five you're going to finish with row four and that is if you started with 29 chains and you're trying to create a square but if you enjoy these kind of close-up stitch tutorials be sure to like and follow and if you have any questions you can leave them in the comments of any of my videos and if you want to request a stitch, right now I'm focusing on stitch tutorials, a little less on projects, unless I get a hit with inspiration for a project, but that is it. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will leave the rest of the row up if you want to watch it, but be safe.